Okay, so in this screencast, we're going to filter some Wireshark traffic. So we've opened up Wireshark again, and we're just going to select the active network connection, which in this case is the wireless network connection. And you can see that if I leave my mouse hovered over it, down below I can see some more information. So I get to see the IP version 6 address and the IP address. So in this case, it's 192.168.0.220. So I'm just going to double click on it. And launch the capture and as we saw previously Wireshark starts to show us lots of information now I'm just going to do um, a bit of activity just to generate some traffic okay so some back of Ireland traffic and in the background my machine is still capturing so Wireshark is still capturing but as you can see it's quite a lot of traffic and it's uh, quite a lot to take in so once I've generated the traffic that I want to look at, the uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the capture, okay? I don't want any more traffic. I know that the traffic I'm interested in is inside this um, capture window. So Wireshark, if I'm looking for traffic, uh, I have a choice. I can either scroll down line by line, look through the traffic and try and find the traffic I'm interested in, or I can apply a filter. Okay, so up here is the filter window, and in here I'm going to try and find DNS traffic. So the tra first traffic I'm interested in is DNS traffic. So I'm going to DNS, and if I have other queries already typed, um, it'll bring them up as suggestions. But in this case, I'm just looking for DNS traffic. So DNS in the filter box, and click the arrow. Okay, so now this is much easier to look through. All I have is filtered DNS traffic and the, the capture has stopped so I know I'm not going to get any more information. So I can see a source address and a destination address. So what I'm seeing here are all my DNS queries and all the DNS answers that I'm getting. So for example, let's see, my machine asked um, the DNS server where is google.ie so I can see a, a query from my machine to the DNS server standard query google.ie and I can see a response and the response is actually coming from another server because I had asked the other server earlier the same question okay so the response that's coming in is 89.101.160.5 so it's coming from the other DNS server going to my IP address and here's the standard query response okay and I can see that it's telling me google.ie is 216.58.208.227 okay so that, in that way, I can filter out DNS traffic. I can look for my IP address sending the request and I can see the response coming back. So any responses that I see coming back will give me the IP addresses of the different servers that I'm looking for. So I can use that information once I start looking for web browsing or HTTP traffic to or from those sites. So if I'm happy that I've got all the information I need from that, I can click on the X, which will clear the filter and lead me back to the unfiltered traffic, which I can then look through, or I can filter it out. So if I want to apply a different filter, I just have to type the protocol or the filter that I want to apply and click the arrow. Okay, so that's how to apply filters. And the example we've used is the filter traffic so we can see DNS questions and DNS responses, which gives us IP addresses. And in the next screencast, I'll show you how to look for the three-way handshake that TCP uses when it's setting up a connection and when it's breaking a connection.